Mikey rap. The black and Mikey rap, yeah. And I'm gonna do the American double, and fries are good with that as well. This is the first time like really meeting you, but I feel like I know you. Augustine one of the three, now he'll drive it in. Kick it to Gordon. Now Ross for three. He got it! And do you get that a lot? Yeah, I do get it. Occasionally someone will say something, which is always fine with me. I, I like interacting with fans. Shot clock at five. Augustine for three. He thrills it! <laughs> You get the DJ Augustine call. I mean, that's got to be up there in a way with magic moments, at least in the last decade. Yeah. DJ Augustine, a dagger. It's probably a top five magic moment, I would think. You know, it checks all the boxes of, of greatness. It's overwhelming. It's humbling. And I thank you all. Thanks very much. Well, I'm sure you've been asked a lot about your favorite calls as you've gone into the Magic Hall of Fame. And the one that keeps coming back up is Nick Anderson stole the ball. Clock is down to 12, and Anderson stole the ball. Hardaway picks it up. You can almost just hear the disbelief in your voice. Two on one. Penny bounce past the Grant. He does it. How do you approach big moments like that and that one in particular? You know, you can't rehearse them. You heard uh, the surprise in my voice and you know, the repeating of it and that it was not just that Nick Anderson stole the ball, it was that he stole the ball from Michael Jordan. It was just a great moment in basketball history. Did you ever think you would have to call Shaq breaking a backboard? No, that was another one of those you can't foresee. Yeah. You know. Anthony Bowie drives, gives to Shaq, he goes up against Shenson, slams and brings the basket down! I guess the league wasn't prepared for it either because the baskets obviously weren't up to standards for a man of that girth. You gotta take a break. Some foods here? Yeah. Yeah, that's mine. Thank you. Before we dig in, I gotta ask you, is this anything? Like, how did it kind of evolve? So the Nicolas are on fire early in the season. And uh, I'm just wondering, uh, Jeff, if, if it's just a coincidence or if it's anything. It's kind of taken a life of its own. It's, it's, become, it's become a bit of a burden, too, yeah. because I continually I have to come up with something. I, spend, I feel like I spend half my game <laughs> prep trying to figure out is, is something anything. Well, I don't know if this interview is anything, but I feel like it's definitely something. Everything is something, Yeah, but not um, everything is anything. I feel like I was saving that line. That seemed like a good time to, to break it out. <laughs> uh, let's eat, man. Good deal.